Well, here it is. Combine harvester. Symbol of farming on the prairies. We started our wheat harvest yesterday, and the first rule of combining wheat is if the combine's not running, you're not making any money. So, why are these two combines stopped? Well, the answer is because it rained today, and you can't combine wheat in the rain. But to give you an example of how important it is that these keep moving, they don't even stop to unload. They just radio the grain truck, grain truck pulls up alongside, the auger comes out, dumps the contents of its storage into the grain truck, while they're both moving down the field. It's quite a sight to behold. So chasing these things around with a camera takes a little bit of doing. Um, we're harvesting a quarter section here, which means it's a half mile by a half mile. And if I'm on one side and the combines are on the other, I can't even see them. So the solution to that is wheels. And I've been driving my car around in the field here. Um, I don't know if my shocks are ever gonna be the same. And I've got a city car. So it's not really designed to be driving around in these fields. Really, I should have a pickup, but I don't have a pickup. I have my Mazda hatchback and it's doing okay. But um, it had me worried at one point because I got out of the car and I smelled burning grass. And it's like, am I lighting their field on fire with my car? Anyway, I wasn't, but I kept smelling it. And I couldn't figure it out. And I even smelled it after I got home. And I was like, okay, well, I got to take a look here. And this is what my brakes look like after I got off the field. Because when you're harvesting grain, grain dust gets everywhere. And so I guess I picked up a bunch of straw when I was driving around and gets my brakes and cooks nicely. So I'm not much help with harvest. I can't run a combine and pretty much everything involves heavy machinery. But there is one machine that I could run. This week, I learned how to use a ride-on lawnmower. Call it Baby's First Farm Machine. And I spent three hours mowing the grass around Nathan's house. So who knows? Give me a year and maybe I'll be driving one of these things. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, I'll even show you how. Or, you know, maybe I'll just make a documentary about them. You can check out the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. Um, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week with more Harvest.